Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about Nest.js custom decorators. We will see how to create new custom decorators and how to use custom decorators in our controller. So one of the beautiful thing about Nest.js is the custom decorators. I mean you can write your own custom decorators and you can use those decorators anywhere. So we are going to use the previous example which we have covered in the Nest.js testing. Here we have a simple uh, middleware. This middleware is validating the token and then that token is decoding. We are decoding the token after checking the validity and then we are returning the roles, email and auth ID. So here we can create a custom decorator for anything. Custom decorator for providing or feeding this user info which is a session user or the current logged in user inside your controller methods or decorators can be used to expose the, the swagger spec on the swagger UI or decorator simple method decorator you can create to check the log time of particular method. So all these are the actually the examples here we are putting the request.user. So what I really want in any of my particular method is I should be able to access the user instance if user is logged in because we already have a auth guard this role guard and admin role is only allowed. So this is the controller. So this is how I want to access my user object at line 109. I'm just saying at the rate user. So at the rate user is not some custom is not a predefined decorator. We have create we have to create this and this is of type user metadata. So using this when the request goes to the controller, I should be able to access who is currently logged in user. What is his email? What is his auth ID? What is his user ID? We can write a different variations of it. You can pass the email and can access the directly the user email, which is set in the request.user object. Or you can get the roles, which is a string array. So how to define this user decorator? That is important part. And Nest.js is providing the, all the different ways to create a custom decorators for us. So we'll go to the user interface. And here we can create export const user and user decorator, create param decorator, create method decorator. These are different methods to create different type of decorator. Here we are creating a decorator for request params. So it's a param decorator. Sometimes you will be creating a method decorator. So here we are accessing the context, execution context. An execution context is very important in the Nest.js because using this you can get the current request object context.switch to http.get request and from request you can get the request.user if request.user is there we can just return it otherwise we can return null if the no session exists but that is very rare that is impossible that we will be returning null because we already have auth guard on this controller so user must be there on the request object similarly you can also have a user data and here you in the user data the difference is we are returning a particular property from the request.user object accessing a particular pro property so this is you can see another another decorator we have added so user data email and this is email is of type string so import the user data so this is another decorator we have created user data and user user data uh, when you are passing a parameter it is giving you request.user dot that particular property and this is the direct way of accessing these properties inside your controller. The other simple examples we can talk about is the execution time. Log execution time is this simple method, which is a method decorator and you can use this decorator on top of your controller method. And if you see this code, this is trying to descriptor.value start time result original method dot apply. So what original method dot apply does, it is actually going to execute your method with the arguments and end time is Okay, once your execution is done, date dot now. So you actually got the time in milliseconds when the execution started for that method and when the execution has ended. So this log execution time you can put on top of your controller. This is like a custom decorator you have created and that will give you this log log statements when the controller method gets executed. Another example which I used a uh, custom decorator to expose the upload file mechanism on Swagger. So uh, recently I was just doing a file upload and there was no way to upload a file through Swagger UI. So what I did is I found out, I figured out a way that you can also use this custom decorator upload file 
which is which is a method decorator and it is exposing this api view body schema is type object and property it is taking file name and format is binary because for file upload we need to have multi part form data so i need to use this custom decorator in my restaurant controller so here you can see i should be using upload file file this is the custom decorator which we have created and through this decorator swagger should be able to allow us to upload the binary files now other options are okay these are all custom uh, these are all predefined decorators like request response next session will give you request dot session param will give you request dot param uh, and that particular property request dot body request dot query request dot headers request dot host these are predefined uh, uh, decorators provided by the nest js yes, which we are already using as a query param uh, everywhere in your controllers but you can also write your own custom decorator and can use it anywhere 